Good evening, I'm Keith Tate. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. He is cute, he's cuddly, he likes to sing and laugh. But a Bay Area mother says the Elmo doll that she bought for her two-year-old son is now making death threats, and she's not laughing. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard shows us why Elmo's new vocabulary has her wondering if Elmo has a dark side. Two-year-old James loves Elmo. Yo, he saw him on his bike for one day, and that was it. <laughs> Walk into his Lithia living room, and you notice there are Elmo dolls everywhere. James even has Elmo slippers. About an hour later, I noticed exactly what it was saying, and my son was repeating exactly what it was saying. I'm gonna rip her fucking head off later tonight when everybody's asleep. <laughs> when he's not playing with one of the Elmos, he's watching Elmo on TV. His latest Elmo, the Elmo Knows Your Name doll, recently ran out of batteries. His mother, Melissa, put new ones in. Elmo's gonna fucking blow his fucking brains away with this gun. <laughs> what was that? This Elmo doll connects to a computer to learn certain phrases and the child's name. But yesterday's battery switch appears to have taught Elmo how to make death threats. It's not something that really you would think that would ever come out of a toy, but once I heard it, I was just was kind of distraught. Elmo's got an ultimate challenge. Melissa has a dilemma. This Elmo is her son's favorite toy, but she doesn't want him to hear the Sesame Street character saying the offending phrase. Hey, Charles, slice your fucking eyes out. She called the toy's maker, Fisher Price. Considering the fact that my son was repeating it has really upset me, and there's nothing that they are even going... They didn't even sound concerned about it, really, when I, when I spoke to them. Within the past hour, a half hour, I spoke to a representative at Fisher Price, the maker of the Elmo doll. The rep tells me they will gladly issue a voucher for a replacement or another toy if Melissa sends the doll to them. Fisher Price spokesman says they have experts who can evaluate the toy and determine exactly what happened. The toy maker plans to check to see if there are other Elmos with the same problem.